Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do those creative ideas with Canva Whiteboard. And right now, I'm currently inside Canva, more specifically in the editing platform of Canva. Now, I already tried and also presented and also prepared a sample presentation for you as you can see on my screen right now. Now, this is just a sample presentation I got from Canva just for the discussion purposes. So I wanna do this with this specific background so that I can discuss what is technically Canva whiteboard and how can we utilize it. So before we get started, just wanna let you know that if you're watching this on your MacBook or any other devices, please stay on the video because the process is literally the same. So let's get on with this one. So technically, as you can see right now, I have a presentation. If you have a presentation on your end, you already have it, you made that, and you wanted to create a whiteboard with it, simply click the specific slide. For example, we're gonna go with this one, the second slide, right? I'm gonna click right click, and you'll see that option expand to whiteboard. And then we can play here, or rather, we can do stuff on this specific slide. Take note, there is no option to make everything a whiteboard, just a specific slide. So we can focus on each slide while working, that's the idea there. Now please notice once I created a whiteboard there or I converted it to a whiteboard, the choices on my left side has been changed. Right? So let's try this one. Since this is a new design, click on that specific design right there. And as you can see, we have a new whiteboard design over here. If you don't have a template yet, don't be afraid because Canva will provide one for you. So with this one, this is going to be our new template that we will use on this specific discussion. So the first thing I want you to do right now is, of course, we're done with converting it to a whiteboard. Second thing is making a note. So imagine you have people, your friends, your coworkers inside this already. We need to make a note, right? Let me just remove this one. It's pretty distracting. Give me a second here. There you go. And let's focus on this specific slide. Now, once I said note is, you can add it by simply clicking on elements. And once you're here, you'll see the notes over here. There you go. You have sticky notes, you have shapes, you have whiteboard graphics. So the, the thing about notes here, as you can see right there, we already have notes, right? But if you input a note, for example, this specific note, let me just enlarge it, will be named after you. Right there. It's not that visible as of now, but there you go. It's going to be named after us. So there will be... um. People will know who our notes from. That will be what they call this one, responsibility, right? So we, we can track whose notes is that, whose idea is that, and so on and so forth. Please take note, while I move this, please change or rather focus yourself on the screen also on the left side. It is a real-time interactive. So imagine this being used with your friends also. If they are already on this slide, and then they input a note, you'll see it real time. So for example, I even put something here. Let's just say sample idea. Let me just enlarge the text so we can further see it properly. There you go. So right now I have a sample idea on my end. And if my friends are inside this presentation, they will see it also. So that is the power of notes. So just place it right there. If you want to change it, you can translate the text, remove the name. If you don't want your name being seen, Simply click on this option. And also, there is a thing here that will help you work properly. This hour is right there. It can just duplicate your work. This is actually Quick Flow. If you don't want Quick Flow, simply click on that one and you'll be disabling Quick Flow as it is, right? And that being said, let me just enable Quick Flow once more because Quick Flow is pretty helpful. So we're done with sticky notes right now. Next thing is gonna be brainstorming with people. So one time says brainstorm is just like this. Imagine people throwing in their ideas, placing their notes inside your specific chart. For example, as discussed right here, they're going to place it on a specific tile. And then another friend will place its idea on a specific tile. Basically, that's a brainstorming here. And I'm just showing you how to use this, right? And next is going to be adding people. How to add people here? Because as you can see right now, I am by myself. So... To add people, simply click on the plus icon right there, input their email over here, or basically share the link of this specific slide, copy the link, and send it to your friends. They can access it right here, 
And once they're inside, you're gonna see their photos on this top right section. That's how to add people on this specific Canva whiteboard. And then you can set a timer so people will know how much timer is left on this specific brainstorming on a Canva whiteboard. And next thing also, you can add comments. Please don't forget to add comments. For example, on this specific note, we can add comments right there. And basically, we can mention someone. For example, let's just say I have a friend inside named Sample. I can mention that and specifically add sticker, add emoji, and even mention someone right there. If I mention someone, I can give them task, so there will be um, responsibility and tracking on who is working and which is working with. Please take note about that one, comment is a pretty powerful feature. Next thing about this one is, if you want to draw, right, you don't want to use the features here, simply click on the draw icon right there, and you can simply draw as it is. Imagine it as a paint application, and your friends will see everything you draw here, as it is. Please take note about that one. And lastly, collaborating with friends. So kind of whiteboard isn't really about working. You can collaborate with your friends. I've made a slide here. For example, we are asking the week of our friends if they're packed up, if what are we doing on the weeks. For example, this is gonna be seven days of a week. And then I'm gonna use a sticky note here. And I'm just gonna place it on Monday as it is. I'm gonna say deadline of project and my friends will know that I am not available on Monday. And if I want to extend it as it is up to Friday, I can do so. I'm just gonna need to align it on my name right there. Easy as that. Anyway, that's gonna be how to create those Canva whiteboards and how to utilize them on your creative ideas. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Goodbye for now.